Well, happy Sunday, everyone. The sunshine is back. It looks nicer outside compared to what we were dealing with on our Friday and Saturday. But when you check out the temperature, oh my, if you open that front door, brace yourselves. 20 degrees. That's the current temperature and there is a wind, a breeze out there. I should say at about south to 5 to 10 miles per hour, making it feel currently like it's 10 degrees outside. That's how you have to dress if you're heading off to some of those morning church services or maybe going out for an early brunch this morning. Everyone basically sitting into the upper teens to right around 20 degrees despite all that sunshine. What's really interesting is we have wind chills well down into the single digits. Feels like it's 7 in Clinton, 5 in Galena. Feels like it's uh, 5 degrees. It's head up towards Cedar Rapids feels like it's about eight in Washington. And why is that? Well, we have this southerly wind and the south wind is doing two things. The one thing is that it's doing is really it helped keep the temperatures up last night. So instead of seeing our actual temperatures fall into the single digits, we stayed into the teens thanks to the south wind. The problem with that is temperatures are warming up today. In fact, I think we climbed close to 40 degrees, but with a wind that will pick up a little bit more as you go throughout the day out of the south, 15 to 25, it's going to keep those wind chills down. So and despite warming up a little warmer than where we have been the past couple of days, it's not going to feel much better out there. Here's the way the temperatures play out. We'll go from the upper teens and low 20s this morning into the upper 30s to right around 40 with that south wind. But again, that south wind is going to make it feel like it's below freezing all day today. Now tonight at midnight, we're going to start to track clouds moving in from south to north across the area. That's going to be ahead of our next weather system that will definitely move in by the time we head towards your Monday morning commute. Now temperatures going to be right around freezing, but what's going to happen is we have a little dry air in place in the atmosphere. So as the moisture begins to fall, all through that dry air, we get what we call evaporative cooling. That's when the air mass cools down from top to bottom. And so these temperatures will likely fall a degree or two right around freezing. So we'll look at the potential of seeing some freezing rain or sleet. That could create a little icy glaze on some of those elevated surfaces and roadways heading into your Monday morning commute. Now, as we go throughout the daytime hours around lunchtime, I'm expecting temperatures to climb a couple degrees, so around 34 to 36 degrees. So I think the majority of the moisture during the daylight hours will be rainfall. And then as we go into the afternoon, we're going to wrap in some colder air on the backside. That's going to flip any rain that's left over to some wet snow, and we could even see some light accumulations. So as we track the system out, the models are projecting anywhere between about one to three inches on average across the area. But here's the thing. I think this will not all fall as snow. In fact, I think some of this will be some sleet, some freezing rain as well, creating that icy mess, and that tends to knock down the accumulation total. So overall right now, I'm thinking about a half inch to an inch of uh, precipitation across the area. That's not a ton, but it's enough along with that light icy glaze that could create some havoc for our Monday morning commute and also the afternoon commute. Here's the way it plays out for your New Year's Eve day. I want to give you a little breakdown hour by hour for what you can expect. Between about 6 to 9 a.m., that's when I expect that wintry mix to move in from south to north. Again, some light freezing rain, some sleet, and some snow. Snow, and then I think it'll flip over to mainly a cold rain after the morning commute from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. But by 3 p.m. all the way through about midnight, I think that rain or mix will switch to some wet snow, and that's when we could see some light snow accumulations. And of course, behind that system, we're looking at wind chills back down into the teens all day on your New Year's Day. So temperatures near 40 today, but breezy sunshine, and we'll be tracking that wintry mix, freezing rain and sleet in the morning. Maybe some wet snow in the afternoon will ring in the new year 2019 with temperatures in the 20s, feels like in the teens, and will moderate the temperatures heading towards next weekend.